welcome to Mixed Media Friday. I'm going to create a canvas right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some retarder and some titanium white and I'm going to apply it on my piece of paper there. I'm going to grab a number 12 brush and um, the retarder just helps the paint sort of flow a little bit uh, longer so um, I don't have to apply as much paint. So um, that's what I use it for. It's, it's kind of like an extender, if you will. And it works really, really great if you're going to be blending colors and um, using like wet on wet. So I'm just applying some white after I've gessoed my canvas. So make sure you pre-gesso your canvas. You're going to grab this blue and uh, just clean your brush a little bit. You don't have to too, too much. Um, I do like some of the white to be on that brush. And right now I'm just applying very randomly on the top of the page some of the blue. And as you see, some of it will be a little bit lighter because I did have some titanium white on my brush which is just perfectly fine. You'll see um, this technique after, you'll see why I do it this way. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the, um, this one's called Joe Sonja's Aqua Series Number no. One. And it is a matte fluid acrylic, so it has no shine. And I'm just applying it throughout my page. It's kind of a, heavy, more of a heavy body. just randomly throughout my page like that. And then uh, next I'm gonna grab the um, Galleria Permanent Magenta. And I don't wanna use too, too much. It's also a heavy body acrylic. And using the same brush, and I kinda want all those colors to blend. Next I'm grabbing the uh, Golden, um, it's by Golden, it's called Green Gold. And I'm not going to apply too, too much, but I just want a little bit. And I know right now you're probably thinking, what is she making? It looks really cool in the end, I promise. Just grabbing a little bit of blue to put on the top. Next, what you want to do is you want to grab um, either a foam brush or a sponge, um, something fairly smooth. And what you're going to do is you're literally going to start your blending process with this sponge. And you don't always want to clean your sponge off. It's completely okay um, to just keep going over it. So I clean it off every once in a while, but you don't have to do it that often. So just keep sponging until you kind of get the blended effect that you want on your page or on your canvas, I should say. Don't worry about the sides. I painted the sides after the canvas was done at the end. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You can do whichever way you want. Once it's blended the way that you want, I added a little bit of white. I just found that it was a little bit too dark, so I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So I added a little bit of the white that I had there. And it just kind of tones it down a little bit. And it gives it a little bit more like a shadowy effect, which I really love. Next, you're just going to dip your brush in some water and you're going to just Dip, drip some water. I dripped a little bit too much, but it's never too much. You'll see the effect is super cool at the end. You're going to let it soak for a little bit. So let it sit there for a minute. Let the canvas soak it in. And then with the brush, just kind of start picking up some of the water, but not touching it too, too much. Once you let it sit a little while and I time lapsed it, so you can't actually tell, I'm going to take a cloth and wipe the excess off. And look at that. Is that not cool? the water kind of lifted some of that color. I just love that effect. Next, I'm gonna grab some Liquid Text Extra Fluid ink in the black, and I'm just gonna really create some random circles. Um, just really allow your uh, wrist to just kind of snap as you're creating, and you'll see the coolest little effects that you get when you do that. And then next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of tap the canvas one way, and then tap it the other way a little bit, to get the drips to go in several different directions. You're gonna heat this up with your heat gun. And next I'm gonna grab some of that titanium white again, and I kinda of wanna create a little bit of shadows. And it is a very, um, you know, you're not gonna do this to the entire canvas, but you're gonna do it to some pieces. It'll, it'll look um, more complete when you do it this way. And it is going on my wall at home, so, um, I don't know, I just really loved creating this piece. It was super freeing. Um, 
and I just loved making it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, watch out for the still photos at the end of the video. Bye-bye. Thank you.